Hello everybody, so today we are in my test world, and I've got a few buildings and stuff, and I'll be talking, or well not talking, I'll have a trailer for this thing over here in a later video, which should be pretty soon, and yeah, so I don't think I've really changed much, but I want to, I made this little, um, place thing, um, test zone, and we're going to be testing some of the physics of Minecraft that are either correct or strange and stuff like that. So, I think we'll start off here and we'll work to the end, but um, here we go. So, how water travels to the lowest point. So, if we get a water bucket and we just pull, oops, place it down here, and as you can see, in real life, if you were in a flat ground and you place if you just threw water down the middle, it's going to splatter everywhere. But um, in Minecraft, it's programmed to go to the lowest point it can. So right there, it'll go straight to there with this kind of flat edge on the side. So um, now I'm not saying that it's wrong. Um, that's the way Notch made it. And I'm just saying that it's uh, strange. So um, then, how is it possible to swim up flowing water? So as you can see, there's a water source at the top and the water's flowing downwards and you can just swim up and some of these stuff I'm hoping are things you wouldn't really realize are different um, in Minecraft real life so um, maybe you didn't realize that swimming up water falls is not possible in real life or that way water will move um, so now this is one that Minecraft has done correctly and come on oh, oops in the wrong place Come on, what's wrong with you? There we go. Okay, and uh, we're going to set time to midnight to test this one. So there is a block of glowstone here, and if I press F3, you can see my light level is 13. Um, where it's down underneath the Z, there's an F coordinate. Underneath that, it says LC, and if you scroll across, you'll see it says planes, and then on the, after that, it says BL, and after that, it says 13. And if I go left, 12, 12, 11 so every block from the light source you go down one so 13 12 11 10 9 8 okay so this um, is a little experiment and we're gonna see if the light actually travels in straight lines like real life so um, as you can see we have let me just put this down there okay so as you can see we have a straight line going down and the light level right here is 12 then 11 but if we go here in the middle it is 11 so if we go up here it's 9 1 over 8 7 6 oh yeah and here it's 9 so it sort of travels in straight lines obviously just like it would in real life it's going to move slightly over you know it's not going to go directly forward little bits of light are going to come out the edges but if you can look, it is more focused right here, um, where it has direct kind of vision of the light, and um, than it is anywhere over here. Um, so that's something to note. Um, another thing is how lightning conductors don't work. Um, it would be really cool, and I did loads of testing with these back uh, in a few episodes in Invention Island, where I was really hoping to get one of these working and hoping that somehow it would work but um lightning just strikes randomly um well perhaps it's not completely random but big iron pillars have nothing to do with where it'll land whereas in real life a big iron pillar would have a very very big um change on the lightning's route but um yeah now um how objects of different mass fall at the same speed so in here we have iron cuirass or iron chest plate and feathers and if we flick I think it's this switch it flicks both of them they fall at the exact same speed and the lights both turn on at the same time so um, if you put things into a vacuum in real life if I put the feather and I put the iron cuirass in or iron chest plate they would fall at the same time but with wind and stuff which obviously isn't in Minecraft it would change the it would change the 
how should I? It would change the um, speed at which they fall. So um, it's kind of accurate and kind of not. Um, but it, it would it would really suck if I press that and you see this feather going boom, 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 and you're waiting for it to land. But um, slow falling objects would come in useful for making machines and things. So it would be cool if there was a mod to make certain objects fall slower and things like that. Um, how cop cobwebs slow down movement. So this isn't very scientific, but um, in real life, obviously, you could just walk through cobwebs. Um, but yeah, and how Steve can lift over forty nine thousand tons. Now um, again, I I love Minecraft. I'm just pointing out a few things that are different in Minecraft than they are in real life, and things that you mightn't notice or mightn't really think about. So, um, if you look in your inventory, there are a lot of splot, splots, there are a lot of spots, and if you were to fill all of these up with 64 stacks of gold, you, um, would be carrying over 49,000 tons, and a single golden apple weighs over 300 tons. Um, so, that going through your digestive system would be quite heavy and uh, then finally how 16 sticks of TNT would do a lot more damage and um, so as you can see there's one two three four and then if you multiply it by the four on this side so yeah basically there's 16 sticks of uh, TNT right there now in real life one stick would probably do slightly more damage than the full TNT explosion so 16 would just like probably go over and kill that pig um, in real life. Maybe maybe not that far, but it would go very far. And just for fun of all of you do want to see it, um, there goes the TNT. So one stick would actually do a lot more damage than that, and then you can imagine 16 sticks damage. But um, yeah, that's that. I just wanted to point out a few things, um, maybe make you think a little bit differently about some of the things, and I hope you enjoyed. So see you next time.